Right now we're in the kitchen with Chef Hal from Harry's Continental Kitchen and Thanks, oh, Colette. it smells amazing. Well, thank you very much. Uh, today we're cooking one of the appetizers off our spring prefix uh, that's going to be going on during April. It's going to be a lobster hush puppy. So I'm going to start by chopping up the, the poached lobster uh, meat that we uh, poached in a little bit of water with a little bit of salt in it. Um, we're going to put the hush puppy mix in this bowl over here as well. Should I do that now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, what is this? Just the flour? It's a flour cornmeal mixture that they, it's, it's pretty uh, universal and it's hard to mess up. So just put, just put it all in there. there. It's measured out. This is about a half recipe of what I would normally do. Um, and then this is a lobster stock. So this is the water that the lobster was boiled in, mm, plus okay. a little lobster base. So then we're going to put that in there. So that'll give it the all good it. flavor. And then um, we'll start with the, uh, the whisking process and we'll bring it all together. Good day juice. <laughs> Cliff is like, ah, let yeah. me back up. But don't spill your rosé. I know. Well, if it spills, rose, it's got to go in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> that brings that together. Then we add the lobster meat in there. And I noticed you didn't cut the lobster too small. I like to have nice chunks in there and, okay. you know, you can do it however you want. How long do I whisk this for? Well, that looks like it's pretty put together. We're going to okay. put a little salt and pepper in there. Well done. Well, looks like it's a little loose over. too. <laughs> We've got a little one ounce scoop here. So what we're serving right. this with is a uh, is a navy bean succotash with gro with roasted corn and Ooh. red pepper and there's bacon fat in there and a lot of Ooh. thyme and and all that oh, kind of yum. stuff. Um, it's like comfort food. It is. And this has turned out a little thin. I need to um well let's go with it. We'll go with it. So you actually put the ball of dough. Yeah, and so Hush Puppy, the, you ever know the know story that. of a Hush Puppy? I don't know the so story. So it, it came from uh, the Civil War times when the Confederate Army was down here and hiding from the, the Union. And uh, in order to keep their dogs quiet at night, they fried cornbread or pieces of bread, and that's what they fed the dogs. And the oh. Hush Puppies oh. is how yes, the name came well, from, well, and, well. and pretty cool little right. piece of history. That is a cool piece you of history. Fried right? cornbread day. keeps me quiet at night, too. So <laughs> it's interesting to me Here's how well one. it, it <laughs> goes go. together, though, in the oil. Yeah, well, this is, I put I mean, a little I'm, too much liquid in there, so it's a little thin. I but did, um, it's No, no, no. It's, well. it's, um, so other than that, we're going to plate this up. We've got our wonderful succotash here, which the, the great combination between this is, is that these, these fried dough balls mm -hmm. really soak up all the goodness that these beans oh. have been cooking in for hours and hours and hours. So you get all that smell and all that flavor. And it doesn't take long to cook, apparently, because that was only a couple seconds. Yep. No, when you're frying things, really you got to keep the oil at about uh, 375 degrees. Um, if it's too hot, it'll cook too fast, and the, uh, the inside won't get done. Oh, okay. So Where does the word succotash come from? Didn't I always remember from the Bugs Bunny, you know, <laughs> suffering 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 suffering. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Okay, question. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> well, Hal, let's give those another couple minutes, and as you do so, yep. talk to us a little bit about what you've got going this out here. This is the finished dish here of that. Okay. We've got our wonderful rum cake that we make in our bakery. We've oh got a carrot my. cake. I've got our homemade <laughs> granola, which was my recipe. We've got our ultimate cookies, which are fabulous. Oh, my gosh. Our Spanish sirloin sandwich is right there, and that is one of my favorites. It's got avocado, feta cheese, red onion. Our homemade done um, sirloin meat, a lot of mayonnaise on there, and a French baguette. That's amazing. And, um, and then I see that one of my favorites, because you've made it for us before, is that roasted corn salad. The corn salad. salad's one of our options. Mm. It goes good with everything. That's probably our most favorite. And these are options in your to-go area as well, correct? Um, yes. Uh, the last sandwich actually is on the restaurant menu as a special, okay. but you could get something similar to that over there. The shrimpers benedict is grilled shrimp. Poached egg, sautéed spinach, homemade hollandaise, oh, bacon, crystals, amazing. and our Delicious. wonderful salmon over oh, there. So oh my we're going to go ahead and finish this off. And how we finish this is with a little red pepper aioli, which is basically just roasted red pepper. All right. And it shoots everywhere, right? <laughs> and then we just kind of go over the top of it a little bit. So these combination of flavors that we have you here with the... Beautiful. All right. Really, really meld. So Guess I've got what? a knife here. You might want to yep, cut these in half the a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and... They get in here, they're cooked perfectly. Oh, wow, they are cooked perfectly. Wow. I kind of like them a little bit lighter than a little heavier anyway. So we'll cut those in half. It'll let you... Bring that, me one over here. That bread will 
I'll, I'll take a stab. All right, <laughs> take a stab. Whoa, because I think really, they're pretty really hot. hot. Really, really hot. All right, we love it when Chef Hal comes and cooks a you. great You're creative right. menu Thank at Harry's much. Continental Kitchen. And remember, they also have a great takeout mm. area as well, so you can have chef food brought right. home mm. and pretend you cooked it. Come have it. our spring prefix. Amazing. Come have Easter with us. <laughs> We're doing Lots going on. Passover pick, uh, pick up as well. So. All right, great spring menu there, and thank you for the rosé. I like a chef that isn't afraid to have rosé all day. Rosé all day. <laughs> all right, Cliff, great to have you. Mickey, you as well. We hope we get to see both of you again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, and be sure to take some time and enjoy the Suncoast view. I need the rum cake. Yep, the rum cake is too. fabulous. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably jump right up the porch.